Complete combustion is combustion in a plentiful supply of oxygen. Let's look at how methane reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. The balanced equation is CH4 plus 2O2 goes to CO2 plus 2H2O. In this chemical reaction, there's one molecule of methane reacting with two molecules of oxygen to produce one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. To understand why complete combustion takes place, we're now going to look at how oxygen oxidizes the hydrogen atoms first and then oxidizes the carbon atoms after. For any chemical reaction to take place, first the bonds break. Here we have the atoms which are unstable and need to collide and react with one another to form new molecules to be stable. For a reaction to take place, the atoms must collide and with enough energy. In combustion, hydrogen is always oxidized first. It's very important to remember that hydrogen is always oxidized first in both complete combustion or incomplete combustion. So these two hydrogens are oxidized first by this oxygen atom to then form this water molecule. And then these two hydrogen atoms are oxidized by this oxygen atom to form the second water molecule. In this carbon dioxide molecule, there's a carbon atom covalently bonded to two oxygen atoms. And this links perfectly to the fact there is one carbon atom left and two oxygen atoms left to react with one another. Only once all the hydrogen atoms have been oxidized is the carbon atom then oxidized by the final two oxygen atoms to form carbon dioxide. Carbon is oxidized last if there is enough oxygen. Incomplete combustion is combustion with a limited supply of oxygen. Let's take a look at how methane reacts with a limited supply of oxygen to produce carbon monoxide and water. CH4 reacts with O2 to produce CO and H2O. As there are four hydrogens on the left and two on the right, we have to put a big two in front of the H2O. There are three oxygens on the right and two on the left. Therefore, we put one and a half to multiply the two by the one and a half to make it equal three on the left as well. You can see that compared to complete combustion, incomplete combustion has less oxygen. Like the reaction above, for any chemical reaction to take place, the bonds between the atoms in the molecules first need to break. Because you can't have half an oxygen atom, I'm going to double the moles so the diagram can work. This means there is a ratio of two carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms being oxidized by six oxygen atoms. Let's remind ourselves of the really important rule, which is hydrogen is always oxidized first, forming water molecules before anything else. As there are four water molecules produced, this means for every two hydrogen atoms, one oxygen atom is needed to oxidize them. This leaves two carbon atoms and two oxygen atoms. You can see there are not enough oxygen atoms to form carbon dioxide. Therefore, carbon monoxide is formed instead. This reaction shows methane reacting with even less oxygen to produce pure carbon, also known as soot, and water. The balanced equation is CH4 plus O2 goes to C and 2H2O. In this reaction, there is one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms reacting with two oxygen atoms. In this reaction, there are two water molecules produced. Therefore, the two hydrogen atoms are oxidized first by the oxygen atom, and then another two hydrogen atoms are oxidized by another oxygen atom, leaving just carbon. There is no more oxygen left to oxidize this carbon atom, so this product is known as soot. Soot is only ever formed by incomplete combustion. A summary of incomplete combustion is 
it takes place in a limited supply of oxygen, carbon monoxide is formed, soot is formed, water is formed, and there is less energy released. Press pause to answer the questions, and the answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video.